welcome to a brand new Thrill Seekers tour of the town. Uh, this is going to be a construction update to look at Disney Springs and see what's going on, specifically with the Edison. So we're going to take a look around and see how construction is shaping up for the new nighttime space at Disney Springs. Let's go take a look. Here's a look at the Edison on the bridge up to uh, the landing area. As you can see, the exterior is actually looking pretty good. Um, got some spots up there for windows. There's still a lot of work to do though. The sign hasn't been put up yet. Uh, so we're gonna take a look a little bit more up here and see what's going on with this new location. Here's another look from over by SDK of the Edison. As you can see, there's still quite a bit of work to do. There's holes in the building, uh, areas for glass. Exterior looks almost done though. Over there, there's some work to do. Um, another thing that's kind of a shame is apparently they pushed back the opening date for this. It was supposed to be early 2017. Now it's supposed to be late 2017. So probably looking at November, December opening for this. Even though it looks a lot farther along than that, but uh, you know, they know their own limitations. So we'll see what happens with the Edison. I love the concept. I'm excited to see it actually open. So uh, we'll have to wait and see uh, how it turns out. Here's a beautiful view from this little overlook area right by SDK of the Planet Hollywood section of Disney Springs. Um, Disney Springs is just a really beautiful place. There's all kinds of cool things to look at and things to do. Um, so props to Disney for it, honestly. Um, they just keep adding more and more awesome stuff to it and making it better. Um, so I'm gonna continue to take a look around, see if I notice anything else that's uh, noteworthy um, about what's going on in Disney Springs. Ah, this beautiful, serene waterfall. Pretty fantastic stuff. And just another one of the many, many nice looking water features and just things in general to look at when you're around Disney Springs. It's really cool stuff. What trip to Disney Springs would not be complete without actually walking around the Springs area, taking a look around at all the beautiful water features. Here I am, of course, over by my favorite eatery at Disney Springs at the moment, Blaze Pizza. I go there almost every time I am here. It's a pretty fantastic place, wood fire pizza made to order, kind of like Chipotle or Subway. Um, you customize it, it's all one price, so it's pretty, pretty awesome stuff. Uh, I'm definitely going to be eating there before I leave Disney Springs today. So, Blaze is delicious. Well, let's uh, take a look around the town center and see what's going on. Here's another beautiful view of the town center area. Take a look at the springs, water features. Um, it's just beautiful. It really is. Definitely, uh, you know, really plays into that whole backstory about the you know, old style Florida. So it's uh, it's pretty nice. Pretty pretty calming. Pretty beautiful place to be. It's always nice to walk around here. It's probably because it's a little early for lunch, or a little late for lunch, and a little early for dinner. But uh, Blaze is actually one of the smallest lines I've seen for it in a long time. So. Um, I'm waiting for somebody to meet up with me before I go there, but uh, I'll probably get here soon because I'm ready to eat and Blaze is always delicious, so hopefully we're going to do that soon. One of my favorite places to be at Disney Springs when you're just kind of relaxing and have nothing you particularly need to do are the wonderful rocking chairs right outside of guest relations. Um, it's just nice to, you know, sit on this nice, cool porch, rock back and forth, relax, do some people watching. It's uh, pretty fantastic and uh, definitely something I always recommend if you, you know, you're out shopping or waiting for people to meet up with you or going to lunch or dinner soon and you just need something to do to relax for a few minutes, take a, a load off. Uh, sitting on the rocking chairs and guest relations is a really, really good option. That's going to do it for this episode of The Thrill Seekers. Thank you for watching, and we'll catch you next time on The Thrill Seekers Tour of the Town.